yeah, so I'm just going to play through some of my Steam gigs today. Um, and what better way to start that off than going through um, my correspondence games I have yet to catch up on. I've got a game going with patches here. Uh, I've got four games in progress. Oh, incidentally, I appear to be playing the classic army in each of these. Um, two of those I'm going to win in one, three of those I'm going to win in one day if my opponent don't, does not move. Uh, that's really weird. Alright, so, uh, I can choose to bid to keep my queen on the board, uh, which I think I do have to do. Yeah. I just played queen takes queen, and this little bidding war means I spent two stones to keep my queen on the board, he spent two to get rid of it, because his real motivation is he doesn't want to spend a turn playing bishop takes queen. There are so many other things his bishop would want to spend a turn doing, such as um, taking my elephant over here. Uh, so yeah, this next move is certainly going to be bishop takes queen. There's nothing I can do about that, but, um, let's see, I could make a run with my, my next move is probably going to be Elephant G2, um, and then just follow that with the running my king over to this side of the board and seeing if I can um, cross the middle, which is the goal in this game, either checkmate or cross the middle of the board. Either one, either midline invasion or checkmate, both win. Uh, okay. Point of order here. My opponent's playing as the normal chess pieces. I'm playing as um, the jungle army, or the animals. So my queen doesn't move like a queen, and it cannot capture this queen. It cannot capture this rook. It can capture the pawn, but then I'm going to get pinned. Um... But I was saying just a second ago that midline invasion is a way to win this game. And what midline invasion is, is your king just crossing the 4th, 5th rank division here. Um, so I expect the way the game would ordinarily continue here would be like king d4, and you'd have to play rook e5 to stop me from getting to the 5th rank. Um, that said, because I know he intends rook e5 against my king d4. Um, rather than say king d4, queen takes queen, king c5, checkmate, or midline invasion. Um, because I know that this rook e5 is intended to stop me from invading with my king. I can actually intermezzo here playing queen d6. My queen moves like a knight and a rook combined. I can play queen d6, and the point there would be to fork the queen and the rook. So he'd have to spend a turn moving his queen somewhere, and then I could play my king forward. There's that kind of subtle nuance here. Um, then again, I said that... Oh wait, never mind. If I get my queen pinned, that's no good. Nothing positive can come of that. Yeah, so I'm thinking, rather than moving my king up, seeing rook e5, and then moving my queen, I can invert the move order, move my queen first, say to d6. He moves his queen, I guess, to b8, because where is the safer place to move it? Um... And then I can do tricky stuff. Does any of the tricky stuff win? For example, if I play queen d6, queen b8, king d4, if queen takes queen, oh, the queen blocks all my squares. Never mind. There's nothing tricky there. That's pretty straightforward, actually. Um. So yeah, my trickiness with queen d6, queen b8 really doesn't go anywhere. Um, 
because I can't really perform a midline invasion. Um, it'd be nice if I had an actual bishop on this army. All my pieces are short range pieces. That's the one disadvantage to playing as the animals, is that even though they're really difficult to predict in the ways that they move, um, they are excellent short range attackers. So yeah, I should play king here. Rook e5. I don't know. My queen has gone about as far as it can go. And now I need to just run back safely and not give up all my pieces. That's the deal here. Um, so yeah, if I play like queen d6, queen b8. Um, knight c4 to protect my queen. It's going to take me forever to develop, but if I change the move order, say I play queen, uh, king d4, rook e5, queen d6, then queen b8 forks uh, my tiger and my jungle queen. Um, I'm not seeing a good reply to that, so I need to start by running away. I feel so unclever. Okay, attacking the queen and the rook, and protecting my tiger, and I can move up my other pieces uh, to help defend all this. So yeah, that's... Um, and for those unfamiliar, uh, so apparently I'm playing four games with the classical pieces. Oh, three of these, I picked the classic army, and my opponent has not picked an army, so those those actually aren't games in progress. I keep trying to pick this army and getting I keep getting opponents who, uh, who just don't move, frankly. Like, if I check this out, okay, this opponent has been moving this game. But most of my opponents haven't, so I'm gonna pick out three new lucky opponents. Opponent number one, I'm taking this. Opponent number two. And... Oh, I've queued up a, a, rat, a match. So that means you, lucky viewers, lucky you, you could choose, if you so choose, to play a ranked match. My match will match up with yours. Take a guess which army I'm going to play. It's probably going to be the classic army. But okay. We'll leave this nice little background music going until such time as I'm able to determine the next game. Um, which I shall s endeavor to do right now. Um, so what would be a good choice? And again, I've posted the link to... Yeah, you lucky viewers, if you happen to have this game, you could challenge me. Or you could even do a ranked match, and probably our challenges would match up. I'm just guessing here. I don't know these things are certain. But see the link in the stream title. Uh, we can pick one of those games to play right here and now. Minus Ket, because Ket just doesn't work on this computer. Which is a big bummer. I was looking forward to doing some Ket. Um... Hmm... Uh, I'll stay away from that for now. Let's see, what else? What would I like to... Oh! Yeah, there's a game. I got a strategy game yesterday. Um, it's not the great for, great for viewer interaction, though. Let me see if I can pick something else. Um, we could do one of those. We've done that before, though. See what would be something more, um, more exciting. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could play the corporate machine. That one could be fun. Um. Yeah, 
it's been a while since I've done the corporate machine. So... That yeah, seems like a good choice. Let me go start that game up for us. I'm going to assume that it streams well and that it doesn't like... Um... Oh, hey, look! Wait, no. Okay, it's my move in this game, though. Ah, he took my queen! Big shocker. Okay, so the dual mechanic in this game... Um, the mechanic is that you bid. Um, and if you outbid your opponent, then their piece vanishes from the board. Otherwise, their piece stays on the board. Um, am I interested in dueling here? I would love to get rid of this bishop, but this could terribly backfire. Um, I might need that one stone later to complicate things somehow. But I doubt it. That one stone gives me the ability to try to capture any of their pieces. Not necessarily this bishop, but any piece. But this bishop's a really annoying piece, so I should try to strike it. Yeah, let's try a duel. So I'm going to bid one stone. I'm going to wager that my opponent um, is going to move any instant now. And we'll get to see one more move take place, I suppose. So my big plan here... Um, I bet... So I bid my stone, meaning that... Well, I mean, it would be terrible if he were watching this, right? Um, meaning that if he bids no stones, his bishop departs from the board. If he bids one, he keeps his bishop. I'd like to see that bishop gone. That's my opinion. But, maybe that extra stone actually means something to him, so... Um, having a stone in reserve can be useful. But yeah, that, having that bishop gone means that my king can race to the king's side and try to do a midline invasion on that side of the board. Um, so... One big idea here is just like king c6, king d6, king e5, king f4, that's game over. Another idea here is just uh, elephant g2, cutting off his king. The elephant gets to rampage, gets to capture and rampage three squares at a time. So, it kind of functions like a rook, except it's able to go through other pieces. Um, so having that elephant all the way next to my opponent's king, um, it's pretty menacing. I've got two tigers sitting back here that move like bishops, but only up to two squares. And they can capture, but when they capture they go back to the square they came from. Uh, so all these pieces I have are short range pieces, minus the elephant, which goes up to three squares at a time. Which, again, isn't really a long-range piece, if you think about it. Uh, so I was vamping here. It appears that my opponent has not moved. It appears that nobody has accepted my challenge. We'll resume with some chess 2 at a later date and time. Um, bummer. We'll retire to our chambers. Alright.